You know, we, we, we want our Bible, we want our Bible to come through somebody else. Now, see, I, I'm, I'm comfortable right here. Just, just leave me alone. Just let me sit down. I'm comfortable right here. They, they, they speak better than I do. They, 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 they understand better than I do. Well, let, me, let me help you out a little bit tonight. When I was 13 years of age, and I began to preach the God, or I began to translate the message of the gospel from ministers that would come from, from the United States and go to Mexico. I didn't know. I was 13 years old. I was in Bible school, but I didn't know nothing yet. Some might argue I still don't know nothing. But I'll tell you this. I went to my father and I said, Dad, I, I, I don't know what, I don't, how am I going to translate their message? They, they've been ministers for you know, 10, 20, 30 years. They, they have churches that are established and you know, they, they, they have a knowledge of the word. And I don't know anything. My father and, and one of my, my Bible school teachers, which is now my brother-in-law, he began to tell me, it's better that you don't know nothing. Because if you don't know nothing and you begin to speak out, the people are going to understand that it's not you, but it's God in you to speak. So I want to challenge you tonight. As I told you a couple of Sundays ago, when God begins to give you a word for somebody, don't doubt it. Get up, move, go, speak, and minister as God leads you, as the Holy Spirit leads you. And when you begin to pray and you don't know their need, you don't know nothing, they're going to, they're going to say it must be God because nobody else knew I was going through this. Nobody else knew my needs. Nobody else knew my tears. But it must be God because God sent them to speak into my life. 